Going live, going live, going live. We're live, hey! Hello, it's Jane. And yes, I am indeed live. Well, this is what we were playing with the other day. And I haven't quite finished it, I don't think, but I also wanted to show you what I did at Life Drawing the other day. We had a male model. <clears throat> I also created a new pencil. <laughs> oh, and unfortunately I left it sitting in some water, I just discovered. This is one of the Draw Happy pencils. When you sharpen it, it's, pa it's paper and this... Uh, A rainbow of shavings but it is a lead pencil and I dropped some ink on it I thought oh, I wonder what happens if I just put ink all over so I've created a hot pink rainbow pencil <laughs> and she has survived being left in some water there so I'll pop her off to the side again right now before I do anything else let's uh, give her a little chinectomy and kind of loving this a little bit. How are you going? Hey Karen, hey Denise, hey Ozzy. <gasps> hey Kimberly. Oh, magical patterns. Hello, hello. Oh, this is one I've got. Oh, I really need to find my uh, got a little box of tips. Nice to, oh, actually, do I have them? Just, sorry, I'm just moving things about. Are they in there? No. Okay. Well, let's just get this. I want to use this colour. So this has got a pinpoint paint pen tip in it, but this isn't the tip that I want to use. Anyway, so I'm going to get it all, because I need a bit more juice. And I want to use this colour because, hello, look at that. Mm, no, that's still too close. Okay, we're going to go here. Okay. <clears throat> no. Yes. I'm just going to use a little bit of gesso to pop, pop next to it. Oh, that's right. I need a new one of these. I think we're getting close to the end. It's all right, I'll just take the lid off and go fishing. I've got enough in there to... Form. Just take a little bit of this vibrational energy. Just tidy this up a little. In fact, I might even tidy this up a little. Just so I'm pushing it back. So I still get the colours coming through, but I'm just pushing it back a little bit so it's not as... I can always go back over it if I think I've done the wrong thing by knocking it back a little bit. And do any of you follow Sheldrick Wildlife Trust on Instagram? Oh, I just, I love it. I've, and there's also now I'm fully invested in this little uh, bird. <laughs> <laughs> called Beaker uh, that had a little a baby. Anyway, the lady who has them uh, has hand, having to hand raise a little baby because the mum just didn't quite uh, understand how to look after her baby. Honestly, I'm so invested and it's growing its pin feathers. It's, it's quite exciting. And uh, the other children trust had a really good story about an elephant that they rescued years and years ago. And they found the dear little thing next to its mum uh, who had been murdered. And uh, 
very sad. They found he was three weeks old and he came, went to Sheldrick and he was one of their little orphans. He had a couple of setbacks but he made it all the way through and now he's a grown elephant out there in the wild. And they hadn't seen him for a while and he came back knowing that he had actually did have a spear wound. And it's just so cool watching how they, the elephants trust, you know, the, some people enough to come along and get a bit of help. So it was great. I love it. It's nice knowing there are great people around the world doing things. Nice things. We can do that too. Okay. <laughs> Well, seeing as I've talked about that, I might actually pull out my... I've got a palette of colours that is uh, named for... Um, the Shadrick Trust and the money from this goes to them. Basically, so I just can keep... Where is it? Adopting elephants and rhinos, okay? Okay, right. Well, I'm going to let her dry a little bit and then I might come back over and do the chinny chin chin again. And let's see where we end up. Well, what about if I do something on this side of the page? Now, what's our prompt, our face so where we prompt? Um, oh, Yvonne's using the Euphoria palette right now. Oh, lovely. Debbie's saying, if only she could have a little chinectomy like that. Oh, I remember seeing a, <laughs> there was a, show, well, I think it's still going, a show called EastEnders. It's a soap opera, English soap opera. I used to be completely addicted to it when I lived in England. I loved, just loved it. And there were two older ladies and one went, they had always been a bit enemies, and they, one went to visit the other one in the hospital. He thought, oh, her, her heart is soft after all. And then she said to the one who was in, keep your chin up, all three of them. <laughs> okay, right, what are we up to? 24th of February, looking down your nose, turn your nose up. Oh, well, that could be her, couldn't it? These are creative prompts. If you've never seen, we have creative prompts, not every single month, but most months. And this is Faceuary. I'm loving all the little colours that I've got happening here with my little paint pens. So I'm just, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Oh, I know what I could do. I like looking at these colours sitting here like that. So these are musical markers. I'm just going to show you. Uh, what I got up to at Life Drawing. We had a male model. And what I'm doing is very unusual in Life Drawing. Most people are drawing with charcoal. Some people are drawing with ink. It's usually black and white. Not everyone. There are people there that have got paints there and all sorts, which is a bit unusual for Life Drawing. It's an unusual Life Drawing class. And I love life drawing because it informs the rest of what I'm doing. But, um, so this is some examples from the week before. So this is where you've got a, a nude model and they do different poses and you just are drawing a response. Everything's very loose and free and um, it's challenging because you're drawing with lots of other people and everyone's m moving and making noises. There's music going, it might be hot. You, you, you don't have privacy so it's it's challenging but it's good for you and uh, usually that's what you people do but I, it informs my other drawing which I really love to draw whimsical drawings as you know uh, so this is drawing a response from what I'm looking at calamity with a purpose um, so that it informs my drawing from my imagination, which is what I love to do. But I quite like, and this is new for me, the sketchy sort of stuff happening with the more whimsical and, oh, even though it's really, it's a very 
different stylistically. Uh, anyway, it's just that's my style to, for everything to be different. Then I've got a bit of stamps, like some art foam is happening. <laughs> Crazy backgrounds, little hand prints from nieces and nephews. Uh, some other stamps. Oh, that started to be a drawing and I decided to uh, go back. Here's some of the, and it's just one guy, but I'm just drawing picture over picture because I don't have, I've just got my book. So I love layering and layering and layering images, 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 images as I'm warming up because each of the individual ones isn't important. It's the fact that I'm there, I'm doing something and I'm learning as I go. And then I just end up with like an, a mass of lines. I really love it. But every so often I need a little break and then I do, I can just tinker with, you know, my other style. So it just looks like 10 different people have drawn in a, my journals. But that I think that when I write, every time I write, it looks like a different person has written to me. So anyway, that's just the way it is. Um, oh, Emma says, love seeing a life drawing pictures. It's inspired me. Oh, it's so good for you. You can find a life drawing class. There's no instruction. You just go there and it's like um, free, free for all yoga. There might be an instructor there doing yoga and you just do. <laughs> no one is looking at what you do. Um, everyone is busy trying to do their own thing. So that, that's the thing you have to just keep remembering. And everyone is finding it challenging. In their, they're all battling their inner monologues. Um, so it's, it's all fine, <laughs> but it's, it's good for you if you can find something. Um, sometimes you can even find ones that aren't nude if that bothers you, but um, honestly, you stop seeing the person as an, it's not titillating in any way. It doesn't even feel rude or naughty or anything like that. It just, it's, everyone's got a body under their clothes. It's not really um, like that. You would think that it might be, well, it's got a bit of a nude, sorry. Um, but he's also got a hot pink beard and he did not have one in real life. But the lady sitting across from me, so it was sort of like there are chairs and tables all the way around. And sorry, I just have to put something on his nudie because Facebook won't like. I mean, not, we're not on Facebook, YouTube. I'm sure they won't like it either. It was only a very rudimentary Rudy anyway. Um, <laughs> the lady sitting across with, from me, uh, I got completely entranced by her ear and the shading on her nose. So I had these little faces drawn here, which are my interpretations of faces and more of a whimsical, you know, from imagination. And Oh, I, got, I had a little bit of a revelation about lighting on noses because the male model had such a beautifully flipped out bottom form of the nose, like this. Oh, sorry, I've got to leave his modesties on. And yeah, I had a little, it was just a really wonderful uh, class. I'm glad I went. And every time I go, I'm glad I go. Okay. So I'm going to try and go every week. I've stopped because I, I started getting so busy with my art supplies. And it's such a great place to practice with <laughs> different art supplies. Anyway, and then I got out of practice, you know, with the pandemic and all that. And just kept making excuses. But I'm back, baby. I'm back. So this is layer cake on top of acrylic. And just loose, 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 but oh, I just, I love these little faces. What else have we got in here? Just all sorts of things. So that when I go to draw my people, I've got this wealth of uh, knowledge of the, the body and um, what pieces are essential just in my own drawings to keep in and what I can leave out and um, oh, just I like it a lot but I used to have all my life drawings in one big journal I've got a little bit of whimsical stuff and I've totally been over time painting it out 
but I'm, I'm quite liking the mishmash of everything in here at the moment. We'll just see how we go. But anyway, that was my beautiful, great big uh, journal. Now that should be dry now. And this little guy. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to... I've got to do this. That's painted on that side. This hasn't got any protection. So I'm going to put clear medium over. I quite like having all the uh, text there and this red and all that stuff. So what this, the clear collage medium, just means that I'm not painting or drawing on this paper. I'm on this, which I trust, my clear collage medium. just protects the paper so that I can put watercolour and other things upon it. And uh, it'll just last the test of time a little bit more. Oh, there's a new, I've got a new person living over the road and I hope they're just a visitor because there's dirt bikes. I just, I can hear it in the background, a dirt bike going. Oh, please get an e-bike or something quieter. And he just loves going round and round and round in circles. I'm going to have to collect up some rotten tomatoes and lay them down at his feet. Okay, so that won't take long to dry. So then I'll have to grab another journal while we're letting that. Now, if you've got any questions or any uh, requests, please. What journal shall we grab? I think we should grab this one. Actually, because I'm on a paint pen, so I've got my paint pens out. I'm on a paint pen kick. Let's. What else have we got? Oh, Pebble Pigment. Mm, I love this page. It was we were testing all the different whites. Sorry, I'm just having a quick little squizzy through the journal. Oh, yum, the chrome. Mm, mm, mm. I love her. She needs another bit of hair there. Or something, so I'm just going to pop that there. Maybe that should be a different colour. So this is tippy toes here. <gasps> We're coming up to mythical March. Got a bit of a, a goddess happening here. This is a little bit of an Amazon princess. Queen maybe. Getting ready for her special coronation day. This colour is called the quality. It's a really soft gold. But this is more of a yellow gold over here with this pebble pigment. And I do have a more of a yellow gold in the set. There's lots of golds. We've got lots of golds. My ambition in life is to have every single gold that there is. <laughs> well, an ambition, not my sole ambition. Oh, and I pull, pulled this out, so I'm going to have to use this for something. Let's pull this on here. What would this 
this look like? This is such a beautiful colour in here. Now that gold might not have totally set yet in places, uh, but that is an acrylic, the gold. In, this is a paint pen. So it might not move, but some of it might move if it hasn't quite set with my water soluble little number here. I quite like the combination of the now if I have it quite watery like that it's of course it can't overcome that dark color but if I just activate it a little bit more I will be able to get mm, some color it might just be too dark yes there's lighter colors that can be seen that doesn't mean it can't be useful though eventually this page will turn into something even though it was just a bit of a mishmash of all sorts I think I was just who knows showing you some stamp the new stamp designs who knows I can't remember <laughs> Pebble pigments. I think I was just showing you uh, things. Oh, and I was a question about fixative the other day in the group, and uh, I'll have to. Oh, I haven't got my map fixatives. It's just it's reminded me. Um, just all watercolors, all pastels, uh, layer cake, coloured pencil, anything except acrylic. Just about you can benefit from using a light spray fixative a matte fixative you can use cheap hairspray but a fixative is better the formula is slightly different and you can also try other things as well um, so I've actually got some of my clear collage medium and water this is something I've been playing around with you're not going to get that lovely very uh, seamless uh, look but this isn't going to change the pH balance of the paper just after you've used a spray fix it because alcohol's in it as the convectant to get the acrylic on the page to fix everything it changes the way the paper works with watercolor especially I've noticed and oh, I love this um, yes so let's use gray I was talking about elephants so this is a joy of life palette and the colors are named I can't flip it over but then because I'll put paint everywhere the colors are named for some of my adoptees uh, f from the wildlife charity or one of the wildlife charities that we support and um, mm, oh, I'm procrastinating like crazy right now oh well we've started because there was a drop oh and this looks like it might be layer cake around here as we speak anyway I'm just going to keep this very free form and just sort of stay in that because the last time I drew it was in um, Life drawing, actually no, I have drawn since then. But again, it was um, I was designing for something, so it was specifically uh, black and white, and then computer, computer, computer. So yes, I'm still in life drawing mode a little bit. Hey Julie, hey Marnie, how are you going? Um, which of my Products is closest to an oil pastel. Yeah, the marzipan twists. So these are even, let's actually grab them and we might use them too. They're not specifically for black paper like this, but if I'm going to be using these and we can incorporate the paint pens, it's mixed media, you can use everything. 
Um, but there's also the power pastels, but they are more wax and oil. These ones don't have oil. They're a different convectant uh, altogether. Um, but this has that gliding kind of thing. The only difference with these and oil pastels is these dry, whereas oil pastels, oil just... I mean, some do dry ish but that's part of their beauty is that they don't dry that they do stay um, true to their nature uh, now what color sorry I'm just thinking out loud thinking with a pen in my hand I'm just going to draw into this because I want to just change the shape of this a little as well And when I'm drawing really, really loosely, I often get all this a bit too short, like all spaced together. And really, you've got your eye, your, your eyes have about an eye distance apart in between them. This is just roughly, in real life, with real proportions. Don't worry, like then it gets whimsical and we play around with proportions. So say you've got eye, eye, I got a straight on face in here. Okay, that eye, eye, about an eye in between. There's about an eye before you hit your ears on either side of the face, too. Um, because I draw big eyes, because uh, I love drawing eyes, that means this is, and I don't let, I don't bring them in closer. I draw them bigger going from here out, not equidistantly bigger I grow get them bigger from there out which shortens this distance up here so then if I left that next like that face is going to start getting really broad so um, it's just something I'm just uh, something to I've got in my mind as I'm creating so the marzipan twists oh I've got to show you where's the cute little box here so I've got them, both sets fit in one of the smaller cute cubes and this is them in their little nests. So this is the uh, Jelly Bean Queen set with the bright colours and this is the, Mars of the um, Roman Gelato, Gelato in Rome, sorry. Uh, all I do is name them. <laughs> And they come with another set of stickers so that you can put their names on if you want to. Um, I put the names on everything so that you can see what it is that I'm using if I forget to tell you what it is. So this isn't necessarily, wouldn't be my go-to to work on dark paper, but let's just have a play. I've got some layer cake, I think underneath and I'm just um, what did I put there was that layer cake so these are a water soluble soft crayon so this is how soft it is it's like lipstick uh, and it's got that gel base so kind of like um oh my gosh gelatos um, that's it like it's a gel crayon this is a type of uh, gelatos are just one of many you know in that genre it's using that it's a more modern, a newer medium uh, to use as a convectant. And, oh, I'm going to pop a bit of that in there. But these are even softer and yummier. And the colour sticks, these are like just an upgraded colour stick. I must say, though, the packaging, the little stick of the colour stick I adored. But that factory, you've heard me say it before, has gone. It's... It, was in a fire so and all of those molds and this that whole that's all gone and then um, no one was hurt but that factory is no more that manufacturing and let me just keep what's going over here in mind 
and <sighs> see, I, I feel like doing flowing hair, and I, but I do that all the time. Someone asked in a live the other day, do you ever get bored doing the same thing all the time? And I was just like, no, <laughs> I don't. But I do try and mix things up uh, for myself. Um, I feel like I've been at live sketching this week and I've mixed things up plenty, so I don't. There's just, um, and just mixing things up for the sake of it, like what's the point? But it's just something that I do keep in mind. Where I really watch out for it is just making sure that I don't have, I try and get different scales because I do have usually the same subjects, swatches and <laughs> people. I've got the occasional mermaid. Um, just so I've got different scales of people. So I wouldn't want a whole book of this. Mind you, that could be quite interesting having the same thing over and over and over. But I wouldn't want um, this, this same sort of size face. One, I have to be a little bit careful of that's what's going on in here. Because that is what's going on so far in here. Um, but then again, just difference for the sake of difference, who cares? Like, a, um, that's just it's affected. But, yeah, anyway, I'm just chit-chatting, shooting the breeze. Um, Fruity de Bosco, this colour is gorgeous. How's it going to go over the black, though? It's gonna, look how beautiful the colour is. Mm. Oh, no, look at her. Uh, just the experience of drawing with a lipstick, this takes me back. I remember my mum... I even went to the store with her, uh, Yves Saint Laurent. There was a new lipstick that came out and it was like the th thing. I remember my mum was all excited about going to get it. Uh, we went up to, you know, the department store, to the concession. The <clears throat> lady selling the lipsticks would have been absolutely gorgeous. La, la, la. Um, you know, my mum's new favourite lipstick and I remember running up and down the hallway um, and drawing on it in the bathroom, drawing with it and just feeling that gliding sensation. I was little, little, but dry, um, running up and down. I was also one of those children who had to wear a harness in public so because I would run off all the time, so, you know. Just, I was a free spirit. What? It's probably illegal, those harnesses now. Um, they probably were back then too. I don't know. I have vivid memories of going to stores, which is probably why I was put on a harness in the end, uh, and running underneath the clothes. And, you know, being that little and running underneath the clothes and having them all hit me in the face, like all the dresses, like I was running through leaves or because it was all colours and the lovely fabrics. What a, how embarrassing for my mum. Just this crazy kid just running off under all the clothes. <laughs> my poor mum. Oh, this colour, yum. This is cotton candy. But we can, so I can leave these to dry. Like these are going to be very soft and squishy. This colour here, no. I'm not vibing nor gelling with it. So I'm going to introduce this more of a yellow as my highlight. I don't know where we're going with this, to be honest. Um, as usual. Now, the only thing with this is it's not terribly damaging if I use a different thing. Because it is a water-soluble medium, 
if I get a little bit of those, this sort of stuff on markers before it sets. But it's not ideal because it can coat your markers and stop the ink from flowing. I don't think permanently, but <coughs> rather than use a pen to add some definition, I think I'll use layer cake was where all I was going, is where I was going with that. Um, this palette or a different palette? I'm just grabbing out a few of these little guys. Kind of thinking this. Oh, I love this palette. Okay. Well, I love all of them. I invented them, so partial to them all. Let's just bring out golf pants and pinkyosity as well, just because they make me feel happy. So I'll just pop them there. They're just nice to look at, if nothing else. I might not use them. I might use them, I don't know yet. So this one's more of a primary, and I've gone into more of the pastels. But what I wanted to show you is that because this is water soluble, and I've got liquid on my brush to use this. I'm just going to really activate that. I can activate this pastel with... I don't have to just activate it with water. I can activate it with any liquid, which means liquid I've made up from with my layer cakes if I want to. I'm going to mix this colour in as well. So what I was saying is I was wanting to do flowing hair, but maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to do something a bit different. Let me, I'll just see, because I, I like this though. Rather than this being in her hair, what happens if she's standing in front of it and she's got... experimental hair colour. I'm loving the little pink cheeks. I'm not loving other things, so that's why I'm saying to myself, loving this rather than, ah! um, just try and make my brain concentrate on the positive of what I do like. And Letting that mix. So remember, I've got the marzipan twist under there as well. So, letting those colours mix. Now, I don't like that grey dot under the, there. I'm going to come in with hot pink around here just because. Oh, I'm getting a little bit tiny Annie Lennox vibes. So this palette's called Pinkyosity, and it's just got a whole bunch of different pinks in it. Pinkyosity is real. <laughs> Let's get serious about my lips. Okay, I'm feeling tippy toes-ish. I need some definition. If this isn't gonna, if this doesn't feel right. Then I'll uh, get my LTQ out. Might need black anyway, actually. Um, LTQ just can cope with a lot. This is the license to quill. LTQ is short for license. I better just check questions. Hey, Penny. Hey, Zandra. Oh, Victory Rolls. Yes. Do you mean me personally, or do you need fix it here? <laughs> I'll do some rolls. We. Um, Do you need to add fixative? No, not really, you don't have to. You can, fixative is going to help just about everything. Um, I do tend to do it eventually because just with my artwork, I notice that people rub it and touch it a lot. 
if, if, if they're having a look at my journals and they're like rubbing it and massaging the pages and there was a discussion in the group the other day and the lady was saying when she rubs on the pages uh, da, 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 da. My, my number one is okay why why are we rubbing the pages that's not what like with our artwork it's not really if you want to be rubbing your artwork Acrylic paint might be the way to go, but just rubbing the artwork is always going to. The, the art supplies have done their job. They've, they're trying to stick to the paper with all they've, with all their might. And then if you caressing it, um, I don't it's, I don't know any art supply that really likes that. Uh, so number one, not to be rubbing, but also if other people are rubbing, you can just say stop it, please. They might not even be aware that they're doing it. I've mentioned before, but I was at a show, like at a like a paper craft kind of show, but showing people, you know, journaling. And oh, a lady was loving it and just oh, and there's this collar. What is this? Oh, and just was picking and pulling the collage off the paper. I was like, what are you doing? I, but I just said, um, if you could just <laughs> back off, please. Um, no, if you, if you just uh, just leave maybe the oh, and she was mortified that she'd been doing it. She just was just an atavistic lizard brain behaviour, and she had just gone into uh, you know conniptions of wanting to do such things herself. And yeah, just with picking out the paper, I'm no. So now we've gone into a very graphic thing, whereas this marzipan twist is quite soft. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this greyish, brownish, whatever's going on in here. So the best way to do that is to, uh, oh, Santa baby, where are you, darling? I've got black in here. Oh, I can take out this red spot too, actually. Oh, that was a bit of a matrix. Neo losing his mouth moment. So if I just give that a second to dry and uh... oh goodness me, come on. What are you doing? So going back to my story, fixative is um, great, but I leave it to the end, like when a journal's finished. So if you're getting a bit of cross-transference from everything, just erase it off in the meantime and, um, and then worry about a fixative at the very, very end. Because like I said, it usually changes. You're adding glue to the paper because um, fixative is, you know, um, the thing that's freezing your artwork is a very thin layer of acrylic 
and the alcohol, but the alcohol changes the pH value, and that's how, because alcohol dries very, very quickly. Um, so if I'm using my water version, you're going to get speckles, it's going to activate whatever it is you're working on. So um, I'm having a total conniption in the background here, I'm just trying to cope with that. My nose is itchy, everything is annoying me, and I don't know why. But my nose is itchy. And because my nose is itchy, She is just totally losing her whole face. That's sometimes what happens. Oh, I like how these little Dobules are coming in behind and have little eyes shining through. We'll just let that dry off and see what happens. She says as she picks up another pen to fuss around with it all again. Oh, okay. Phew. I worked my way out of my annoyance. Was it that I just needed to drink water? Could it have been that simple? Drink some water. Draw some undulating lines. That's a cure for anything. Well, maybe not anything, but some things. <laughs> uh, now, let me have a little... Cinnamon says, adds pinkiosity to the cart. Golf cart. No, this is golf pants. That's Pinkiosity. This one's Joy of Life. So this one is, um, so Savo, Doldo, Rana, Humpty, Mwinzi, Twiggy. Twiggy is my giraffe. My giraffe. <laughs> Humpty was a little tiny hippo. She didn't make it. It's very difficult for them. Mwinzi is a little elephant. He's going good. Rana is a little rhino, doing very well. Her tail was bitten off by hyenas before they could get to her. and um, She's had her nether regions reconstructed and she's doing very well. Doldol didn't make it, little darling. And Savo is one of the places where when it's, they've had the rain, it goes this beautiful green. But it's actually, it's a primary part. And the reason I'm mentioning it is purely, it's called joy of life because that's what the elephants give me, joy of life and proceeds from that um, even if there was zero proceeds anyway uh, <laughs> if the only person who loved it was me uh, I'd still keep adding to my herd of uh, rhinos and it's just it's so you can participate but you can go and don't uh, you can go and adopt um, your oh let's put neon pink oh I like the neon pink edges okay See, we're concentrating on the positive. Is there a song about that? You accent the positive, do no, delete the negative. Is that what it is?
Yes, and then we just we all have our causes that we support, don't we? Different ones. Everyone's different. So wombats are another one. It's an amazing lady in Canberra too, actually. Uh, who have wombat sanctuaries and they help the wombats. The koalas, the um, koala, Save the Koala Foundation that's near us. And because I see the work they do, I know that the funds are put to good use. That's all we ask when we donate, don't we? That our money actually goes to the cause. Um, it's always very disappointing when you find out that's not what happens. And, uh, oh, this is going to be quite interesting. Now, this isn't dry enough to start fluffing around with yet, but we will get there. No, I need to move it aside. If I wanted to, I could do black acrylic, is the other thing, like my black euphoric black, which is nice and matte. But if I'm going to use layer cake over the top of it, which I probably will, and mousepan twist, the layer cake in the background would be totally fine. Let's get this little girl back. Now, I don't want to do too much layer cake or water-soluble media on this. Although I do have my gesso and whatever on here. Um, because this is a fine paper, you know. But now we've got that dry layer of acrylic. So when I create on it, I'm creating on that acrylic layer um, you could always do a couple of coats too, that would be even better. But one's fine. And why wouldn't we have a little bit of gold? Just because. <gasps> what about that bit of marzipan twist on her little cheekies? Or that oh, it does look nice as it is. Maybe I'll do it. I think this was just the plain paper. And we might leave some as just the raw crayon or not, because that would suit this look. Because I think this was mainly mindful marker. Oh yeah, this is going to be a nice one for this. Marzipan twists. Yeah, so if you have the original colour sticks and you need to start replacing them, because you've used them all up, the marzipan twists, are you'll love them even more because they're Gorge. That was not a very technical statement. <laughs> this is almost the colour of the paper, but there's just enough coverage in there for me to start actually giving her a little bit of colour to the face and it's sheer enough that I can still see the music. I can leave some lighter areas as uh, keep my fingers clean, that's all. Like some shading. But if I leave the lighter areas like here, through here, I'll get this uh, area of the nose, bit of coverage here. And then this will set like an oil pastel, but even set quicker and more. Um, let's even put some, I've got cream. I've got, oh, I've got all these colours here as well. This is going to be a much softer white than, you know, like a white paint pen. This will be nice as well for a little bit of highlights. Oh, even in here, just some soft highlight. And it'll look even more painterly, and it's got that sort of painterly look.
So a very good little trick uh, when you're creating is, like I just said, that thing that annoyed me and I just painted the face out. Um, rather than get fixated on it, um, berate yourself in any way, just pick up something else and just start doing something else. And if you're really frizzing, pick up a favourite colour, neon pink or that's what I did, you know, did round the jaw. Um, just to switch your mind, just kick your mind into a different direction and everything should be fine. This is not the colour I want. The colour I want is that one. So this is a beautiful colour as well. I'll just show you. Mm, I'll do it on here actually. when you combine the two this looks very dark in here but it's actually the most beautiful pinky purple red oh heaven oh that looks so nice how this and this are connecting i don't know i don't really it's not going to be my I don't care today. It's not bothering me, so I'll be right. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Oh, I headbutted the camera. I got so excited. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a Toulouse Le Trek uh, trick. This brush can we also just. <clears throat> now I'm going to just knock that back a little bit just i want an essence of that deeper color there that's fine but i want to have this uh, like a little outline and the brush size that i'm using is 12. oh yes i love that old west saloon showgirl and the poker player mm, gotta know when to hold them right Oh yeah, you've got to accent the positives, eliminate the negatives, latch onto the affirmatives, don't mess with in between. <laughs> That's fabulous. Is it like a show tune? What's it from? You've got to accent. It's not Disney, is it? Um, sorry to break your ears. Is it something we learn at school? Is it like a nursery rhymey kind of twinkle twinkle little star kind of song or is it from a show i'll have to google it but yes don't mess with mr in between that's the annoying i think what i was yes accent the positive okay so what i was saying a little toulouse the trek moment i was in the brisbane art gallery and there was a toulouse the trek painting that was quite small uh, it was a showgirl, Moulin Rouge most likely, and on one side of the painting, the outline, was this beautiful hot pink red, like this. And on the other side of the portrait was turquoise. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and you, 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 it just looked alive. And then when I, I was studying it, saying how, does such a loose little painting that looked like it was painted in four seconds. How does that look so alive and have so much volume? And that's when I noticed this little outline, one colour and then the opposite colour on the other side. But if we're going to do opposites, we're talking, so red and green are opposites on the colour wheel. Just let me show you. And so this colour we're talking in here. So the opposite of this is this green. Um, but I don't want to put bright leaf green on my painting. We don't have to, you know, stick to any kinds of rules. But I am going to lean into this turquoise. But a green turquoise, not a blue turquoise. So let's go here. So this palette is from Layer Cake. This is uh, the Seize the Day palette, Fantastic. 
and Lagoon. And I'm going to grab, this is what I love about the colour wheels is and had a lot of fun putting the colours together so that you've got colours next to each other. You can do this too. You can mix any of them. But you can do this. Now some people, like Kim, you would now be fainting because contaminating the colours, but they're not permanently contaminated. It's just the top will be all right. So I'm going to add a little bit of this colour into her eyes, even though I do love the very soft, soft, soft colour. It's got too much water in my brush, so it's too powerful. Maybe actually, let's, just before that dries off too much, I'll just soften it out with, just add a little bit. So it's like the um, shadow under the eye, I've got that colour in there. And then I'll grab my brush again, just load it up again. And let's put these colours together. So whether I'm, you know, if get, getting a to lose the track moment uh, exactly, um, I'm not going to compare myself to that. But it's just something I noticed and something we can play with as well. But it doesn't just now, it's just got more life, right? I'm going to even put these little bit of these colours together. So they can talk to each other and the thing with complementary colors is the the complement makes the juiciness <laughs> makes the um makes they complement each other they make each other the best versions the clearest versions of themselves so it makes it brighter but also with complementary colors when you mix them you get an instant neutral so either a gray a beige a brown a neutral colour and uh, let's see how let's have a look at what we get when we mix those two whether we get a grey or a oh I can't well let's just let that dry for a second uh, I need another book luckily I have ten journals sitting next to me in various stages <laughs> We have plenty happy. Oh, look how cute she's looking now. I played around with her. Uh, this is washi tape from, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the collection. Head Start. This, this tape here. It's hard to recognise once I've played around with it, but this actually also coordinates with a set of stencils. So there's stencils for each one of these eyes as well. So you can use these. But I, And then I used um, paint pen over it and you can't even see where I've, uh, where it's washi tape. But you can see a little tiny bit of texture there, just little crow's feet, that's all. And uh, this is gold, brush with fame. This is, um, uh, craft no no it's a mixture of different gessos or maybe it is this high kicks caramel um, I think it was leftover paint I just painted out the paper and then I sprayed over the top some various inks with you the other day and uh, this was the uh, Neptune's fountain oh not this one but how gorgeous is that that would have looked gorgeous too mm. anyway that was through there and then a bit of brush with fame, this and that. What was I doing? Totally just squirreled myself. Complete and total squirrel. Ah, oh, okay, well this is gonna make a neutral, so I'm gonna put it here because I've got a little bit of a landscape here and I'm just gonna do a lady. Okay, so what were our two color choices? We had this turquoisey green. Let's pop that in there. Get a little bit of it. Look at that gorgeous colour. Oh, that looks all very nice, love that, doesn't it? Okay. Now, what was our other one? This gorgeous creature. Now, we do want to make sure our brush is clean. My water is filthy, so I might just grab myself a fresh one. And let's grab her. Oh, 
look at these two colors together. So they're not exactly uh, complementary. So we're talking here, which really would be these ones, but we're more over here. It's same family, same thing. But let's, we're going to get a grade off. Oh, actually getting a very nice purple. But if I put in the right quantities, if we grab a bit more of this. See how we're getting this sort of grey? This neutral. Well, that's not going to work on that at all. Be no use. Should we? Oh. This sort of colour is going to be in here and it's in this background a little bit, so I'm going to. I'm going to go hair back that way, but what happens if I go hair this way and it goes in behind this thing? What a cu lovely colour. It really, it, it's a grey. If I put it on just a plain piece of paper, I'll pop it on here. It's just this mauve, grey mauve. Huh? Tell me how I feel about purples. It's actually sort of in here. So it's going to be quite nice, okay. And it's even the sort of colour that I've used as that shadow. Let's come, so here we might be going out here. And say if we, we won't put her ear on, but we'll do the hair as if it's around going around this. So then I can leave it open like this. She's in quite the uh, hurricane <laughs> with hair like that, but you know, you know, you know, you know. to end up with an, an interesting journal page eventually here yes yeah, so after you've had some fun with uh, mixing two colors that are complementary squish them together and see what you get and it will be some sort of neutral, but it's usually a very beautiful neutral because two beautiful creatures have made made it so their little baby is uh, usually quite nice and will always match back with the parents. <laughs> so when you add in the colours that made them, it's always going to look nice, it's usually a given. I've mm, got that colour there already. Colour here already a little bit in this other painting. A little bit of colour, I don't know if we could call it colour theory, just colour experience, just my personal. To look at questions. So that was that little neutral we made from it. Huh, interesting. Uh. Hey. 
Carrie, how are you going? Hi, Cindy. Mm -mm. Okay, so. The showgirl is out showgirling. This, he's just totally fading. Actually, if I bring him, if I bring her in front, I'll just to loose the track this just a little bit more. I'll just bring her in front. Then they are sort of together. Um, and she can be the showgirl with a certain smile and he's singing the pagan love song in his uh, mind. Oh, my nose is itchy again. What's going on? What does it mean if you have an itchy nose? <laughs> now, that I don't want in there anymore. Oh, Zozzy is having a lovely day. Okay, right. These lay cakes. So if you're totally new here, you'll be thinking, what are those? There are the mini versions of these. These are the full-size lay cakes, and then these are just lots and lots of different new colours. I'm always thinking about storage because this is it's constantly not an issue, but it's constantly a thing for me. Like I've got to make sure uh, I'm at the point now with my collection of art supplies, just my own stuff, that I really storage is a big issue. Like it, I I can't really add things without thinking about how are they going to be stored? How are people going to fit them on their deck? Because I'm just thinking of me. I'm very, very selfish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just putting things away a little bit. So, that palette. Mm -mm -mm. Seize the day. It's a mermaid palette, by the way. Okay. Um, so, I'm always thinking of actual storage systems. Uh, you know, like the cute cubes and I've got grandstands and all of these other little things. Uh, because otherwise, how can you keep... You just can't fit everything and I, I don't want anything to be overwhelming. It's already overwhelming enough for actually doing the art and living the life. Quite frankly, life is, you know, life. So I'm just always trying to think of, okay, how are we going to fit this, whatever it is that I'm thinking of creating, how are we going to fit this on our tables? So um, that was the reason, the little layer cakes and the little palm of the hand, because I wanted to add more and more colours, but adding, adding the big palettes, you know, eventually you're going to run out of room. So that's my little um, cheaty way of... <laughs> Just adding more and more colours because I don't want to. Right. Or should I give this other girl some eyes? I kind of like her. I'm now of these all of these chins. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Keep your chin up, love. All three of them. Oh, I quite like her, really. And I like this. Uh, whatever will be, will be. And I'm kind of just liking... I think a figure here would be nice too, but I am kind of just liking little cutie colours here and there at the moment. So we just, whatever will be, will be. Huh. Okay, but this poor lass does need eyeballs, so should we just try and do that? Let's see where we're at. Now, I'm not sure what's going to work best. I'm feeling that pencil. Okay, so what am I liking? I kind of like how she's now on top of this galaxy. 
So I am liking that. And this is a fluffy white clouds pencil. Finding this face. Nose up in the air, okay. That was our prompt. So I'm just, okay, so in this moment, what is going to make me feel really good painting with or drawing with? Neon pink. Will that work on top of this? Might not be strong enough. Should I go in with something soft? Oh, what about paint pen? This paint pen. Oh, yes. But is neon pink what I... Um, hang on a sec. I've just got to... Put things away for a second. Okay. Sorry, I've got a drama happening. I have to get something set up. Okay. <sighs> I just stopped an avalanche. <laughs> hey, Sozzy, how are you going? You know what? I'm just going to uh, kind of pebble pigment this for a second. Just then if I even go over it, I'm just putting a bit of moisture and activating all of them. Always with metallic watercolours, a little bit of an activation uh, and leaving them for a bit is always a good idea. I haven't left them for long enough, but that will be fine. Now, because I'm on layer cake um, and that I've blacked out, that might probably, I would suggest, is going to resuscitate when I put this on there. But the metallic is going to stand out still. So let's just see what happens. I just want to see if I can work through um, work through this. So I'm going in with colours that I know I love and <laughs> um, got that little eye hook there. Oh yeah. I just want to see if I can work through my annoyance with this. I don't know if I can yet. Ooh, that's very 
pretty. So this is a very sheer colour on paper, on white paper, but it's magic on other colours. So on the white, you can see that it's very sheer, but it's got a pink um, glimmer, like a reflectance. Um, it's almost a chameleon pigment type situation, and it's very fetching. So I don't know if this is it or not, but whatevs. Um, that's not what I want, but this will, I know, here. So this is another small palette of layer cakes. I've got paint pens in front of me and I can't actually get to my big pans of layer cakes. But luckily I have my little travel, my minis, and I can <laughs> dip into these. And they're not, we haven't got refills for these, but I just refill them from the big palettes. I just scoop out a little bit from there and mash it in. And because it's all, it's a semi-moist formula. Let's just see if we can do -si do this. Love this colour. Let's get this lip shape happening. I really want neon pink. I might have to get in there with acrylic, but let's, I'm going to mix these two. Because neon is never that opaque. But we can, it's, you can always add neon as a topper and make it uh, opaque if needs be. But I can mix it with a, its friend up here and we can get a neonish. Because if you've got a neon chin, well, obviously, <laughs> goes without saying, you'd have a neon pink. Now, if that just, yes, no, because if her lips are pink, why would she have pink there? She wouldn't. A little bit of pink, but not too much. Okay, but maybe a little bit here. try blue and mix that in with it a little bit I'm trying to get it dark but obviously I've already got the black there so I'm trying to I want to make a lighter version something a bit light oh yeah dark purple okay yeah, I've got it I think that'll be right so I can add some detail but it's not in that the jet black of the paper
What a strange world I've, I'm living in here. I should be as tucked for as far under as I've done it. Oh, I can't put that together a bit like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm concentrating. Gosh, we're pulling out some of the things from the vaults today. Well, not vaults, but you know. I love uh, using all the different things. Actually, you know what? Let's go in with the turquoise. Um, is this a bad idea? Probably. Let's do more blue. Well, this is already so crazy that it doesn't really matter. We're not uh, dealing with reality here at all, are we? We have a bit of a nostril there, I think. I'm going into lips here. Oh, that one's a bit juicy. Oh, what a colour. Okay, so I can just uh, add some little bit of refinement with this. And I'm going to add a little bit of refinement here too. So what colour could I use as a highlight? I've done the whites of the eyes still white, which probably that is too bright because it looks a bit cut out. So I'll um, come in and do a little bit of fandangling later. But I do need a little bit of a highlight of something. A lighter purple? So it's like the opposite, like a shadow. Okay, I'm just talking out loud. This. Will this work? Yeah, maybe. Hmm, I think it will. all the puzzle we can unlock it's good for your brain Hmm. 
Lay cake is amaze. Okay, now I just I need that a bit juicier. What I'm trying to do here is if I use white as the highlight, it's just going to be it's a lot. It's a big step from that to the in on the darker skin, and we can certainly have people this beautifully dark um, this is sort of a bit more imaginative it's not really real I mean she's got yellow stars showing through a neon pink uh, jawline so you know we're not really dealing with reality here where well, it's an artistic interpretation so um, I'm just it's just a little color puzzle that I'm trying to sort out here that if I'm not using white as my highlight, I'm traveling to, I'm seeing if this will work as a highlight and then would it be hot pink? Is that my highlight then? The neon pink, like the highlight highlight, the rather than white. I'm just playing with this. It's a little color puzzle. I can still add white, of course. You know, if that was my little like white glowing edge, is the pink, and now this pink is my highlight. It's also her lip color. So that probably has to be a different colour, but anyway, then it doesn't have to just be a puzzle. It can be, you know, whatever they think we're playing with. Hmm. Anyway, um, art is awesome. <laughs> And what a privilege it is to be able to contemplate how do I make neon pink a highlight? So what happens if I make the white the white the white's really light blue? Like a really white blue. Like a or grey? Did the grey look good? Grey can make things look very sophisticated. I don't know if that will work. It might be too alien. I need to let this dry off a little bit because it's, it's getting messy. I'm kind of excited to see if that all do. Mm, might be the one. I don't know. I'm making up my own. Like it's not like this is a a rule or anything. It's just <laughs> uh, a contemplation. Contemplation. If I kept going on this, I think I would actually end up with volume, even though we're talking about rather odd colours. Well, 
Whether it's attractive or not, it's a different story. But it's been an, an interesting exercise. Oh, I feel like I've been sucked into some sort of vortex and uh, I'm only just re-entering the world. Ah, oh, what an odd feeling. <sighs> I feel quite refreshed in an exhausted kind of way. I'm mentally refreshed. This eye is too popping and I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not there for it. Uh, what I'm doing here, this I'm um, using one of the um, sketch size pencils and because graphite's got that shiny nature to it, it stands out on black paper in a subtle, nice way. So I'm adding, I thought, well, I want to add a little bit of sharpness. None of my black pens are going to work because this is black. So we're just, we're adding black on black on black and you can't see anything. So we're just, I'm having to think, how else am I going to get a little bit of detail in here? This will both scratch it through the layers uh, and sit on top. Uh, and because it's got a bit of shine to it, we will be able to see. Well, I should be able to see it now. Where's my little unicorn? I've got little crumbs there. As long as it's not wet, that'll be fine. Just see, I've got a little bit of... It's because the paint's not also completely dry yet either, so... I can use this to add a little bit of refining. So I must quite like this, uh, otherwise I wouldn't keep going, would I? Oh, so it's grabbing in spots and it's scratching out in others. Love it. Now, if that's not dry and I do this, I might create a little mess, but I think we're pretty good. Now, if the paper's wet and I'm scratching, it might not like it, so I just have to be a little bit aware of that. I might come in with this as black, black, black again, though. A shiny black might be better. And I do have a shiny black ink. So that is, this, this is the ultimate pen. It's in the same family as this. Uh, same type of ink, it's a little bit different. Um, this is the, um, the matte um, black. So this is black lace. And this one is uh, hot vinyl. So it's got a shellac in it. So it's got a little bit of a shine. So that little bit of shine, uh, because everything else is matte, will perhaps stand out as a black, you know, with all these blacks on blacks on blacks that I've got here. At least this might have a little bit of a shine to it and it, will, it might stand out a little bit. So I'll let that dry and we'll see what happens there with my pencil. But I'll keep refining with this because this is sort of scratching in. It's got a really cool effect. If I lift the page, you can see the where it's shining and not. Um, she's definitely into planet. She's a cosmic girl from another galaxy. From here into infinity. She's Oh, that was such a good song. <laughs> I went to a Jamiroquai concert when that came on. Oh, I thought I was going to lose my mind. He was so cool. I don't even know if he still makes music. Why did he start making music? Oh, if there's something tragic, don't tell me. Maybe you just retire.
danced with him in a nightclub once. It was probably accidental on his heart, behalf, that did happen. <laughs> uh, okay, this, I think we can do this. I've got the the words of Cosmic Girl just flying around in my brain like crazy. It was quarter past eleven. Mm -hmm. She's cosmic. Let's give her some stars in her eyes. Oh. Actually, should really have. Remember, this is grey in here now. these little yellow drops I wonder if I should incorporate them somehow I'm not sure yeah I think her jaw goes back there a bit okay and that glossy black is glossing nicely So it's just, uh, I've got some other metallics in there. The other one I've got is this metallic, I've got a metallic black paint pen and I do have metallic black layer cake. But metallic black is graphite, right? Whereas this is a glossy black. The graphite actually might look better. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, happiness. I'm giving her some teal eyeliner because why not? The lady die of it all. <laughs> she had the, the pink, the teal eyeliner, didn't she? Ages. I think I'll take that a bit of that off there. Well, that was very fun, interesting. So we've got that one. We had a bit of this. We had a bit of this. We've got the three quarter faces uh, happening. This is the new washi tape, and I decorated it with a little bit of paint pen. Love it. This is a bit of the washi. This is the new laces. New laces in the background here. This was what from the journal tattoo set, the masquerades, and that face there is as well. I've been loving those. We used the musical markers here in the fine and a little bit of tippy toes, which you really do need to have. Just saying. <laughs> Lay a cake really need to have as well and you need to have this brush so you can do the brr and uh, we had our little contrasty contrastness this is that rainbow pencil the spectrum pencil what else have we got in here <gasps> bit of fever i need to matte medium this so i might do that before i go that's all dry so i'll do that i mean before i go here we're not gonna make you watch me do it and then this was goodness me everything um and very exploratory experimental and quite fun really 
it's a work in progress is what I would still consider this most definitely but if we accent the positive uh, which is I got to spend time with you guys and I really I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying her even though this is quite odd uh, colors and all of that um, love the little stars this is story time ink through one of the laces so I must do that now I'll do one more let me check questions just in case you've got any questions uh, for Oh, Marcy says, Jamiroquai still tours, according to Google. He probably packs up the purple Lamborghini and uh, flies around the country, around the world. Yes, and that was the little ultimate pen. So you can find them in the pen section on our website. I might put them in the black pen section there, actually. Remind me to use them more. They're bloody fabulous. Sometimes I forget. How awesome things are and it's just good to have a little reminder from time to time isn't it oops sadly missed the box there and sent something off into space as I sort of try and tidy up a little bit mm. my little cosmic friends oh I should have used you oh well next time little pen that I sort of made by accident. We try not to panic around here. Now something is wrong there because they should fit all nicely. Hmm. Anyway, blah. So questions, any last ones for me my friends? Yes, the little tiny bite-sized layer cakes. That's those little tiny ones that I used. And uh, they are, there are no new colours in there. So there's the secret ingredients and the um, that's secret ingredients, sweet treats, that's it. So you've got your mixing colours, your cool mixing colours, warm mixing colours, black and white, a beige. So you've got a consistent mid skin tone that you can lighten and darken, you can warm and cool with these colours. And neon pink, which, hello, why wouldn't you? You can't mix neon pink. So it's like an essentials. And then the secret ingredients palette is like a miniature sushi roll and ice cream cake together. So you've got skin tones, uh, dark to light, you've got cool, you've got warm, um, beige, and then when you mix it with that too you've got um, quite a nice little spectrum in a small palette plus you've got cheeks and life in here you've got shadows you've got a little bit of eyes and this is dark rum I love these colors um, in amongst shadows so in skin tones so you've got a little bit of this happening uh, so they're the two little travel palettes so and then because I was fluffing around with that, I forgot what I was doing. So let's just quickly spread this out. Me and the fever. Uh, yeah, so if you've got any other little questions for me, please uh, ask. So this, what I'm doing here just gives me a protective layer on this very old paper. It's over 50 years old and I'm working on top of a matte medium rather than this paper that I don't know. I know the song. I don't know this paper. I don't know her. I don't know what she's capable of. I don't know if she's mean. I don't know if she's sassy. But if I give her this nice little jacket, I know that she's cosy and feeling safe and protected and she'll probably work with me. Am I anthropomorphic? For sizing paper yes I am is that a sensible thing to do probably not does it harm anybody no no it doesn't but what will harm things is if I let that dry where I've gone over the edges of it and that'll stick so what I should have done is put truss some mess sheets under that so rather I'll just do this like that. 
but I could also add a little bit of uh, gesso in there. I might do that too. I do like to be able to, I, I do want to be able to see these words because I love this song. Actually, I might go in with this one. Just a little bit. Uh, so I've got a little bit of um, high kicks. Skipper beat Sienna. And this is positive beach. Yes. And this will just knock this back. I'll still be able to see through it. But it's going to give me just a little bit more... Uh, room, wriggle room. When I go to create on top of it, because it's just knocked back just that little bit, and uh, so I still have the interest. I still have the old paper looking through, but. I just it's not going to feature so prominently when I paint or draw over the top oh. yeah so just knocking it back and then it's done I've got uh, I've got a, a layer of something that I really know and trust in the background so that when I go to use other stuff on top of it uh, it's just one little less bit of craziness that I have to worry about whether or not 60 year old paper is going to cope with what I want to do to it. Highly unlikely. But you never know. I'm just saying hello up here in the corner. Hello, hello. <laughs> right. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you had a lot of fun. Or that you go and have some fun. Go and do some art. Um, go and grab out your layer cakes or your paint pens or whatever it is that you have and if you don't have some you can go and grab some from my website which is janedovenport.com and I always forget to tell people that until the very last second but you can also subscribe to my channel if you feel like it and uh, then you get the notifications and um, yeah thank you for joining me go and do some art and have a lovely day bye mermaids <laughs>